Okay, folks, welcome to the Contrarian Trader. This is Robert Desmond. It's been quite a while uh, since I did a video. Uh, it is a new year, January the 9th, and um, look forward to the coming year. Um, what have I been doing? I've been busy building a new website, which has taken up a, a huge amount of my time, and we're almost near the end, so I figured I'd reach out. Uh, it's not quite complete yet, so uh, the link on the channel page of YouTube brings you to this site that you would generally have seen up until a couple of weeks ago, and that's the Contrarian Trader website. Uh, the site's going to look like this. It does look like this on the, if you type in the Contrarian Trader, but the link on YouTube will take you to the old site still. Why, you may ask. Good question. With the old site, you have the ability to have the 14-day free trial offer still. With the new site, you'll note that you do not get that. Uh, so I did away with the 14-day free trial offer. Uh, the only reason why I'm keeping it up is because we're having issues with uh, the login IDs right now. Plus, I'm trying to get these videos fixed here. Switching over to Flash, so this won't be a black box with the uh, an image. Uh, so that's it. So if you want to join, the time is ripe. It's only going to be for another week, maybe, that I'm going to keep this up. And... Take advantage of the 14-day free trial offer, okay? And that's it. Let's get on to uh, what we've been doing. Um, chart of the U.S. dollar. Uh, it's been rallying some and expected to continue to rally. And I, I believe it's going to cause some weakness for the weakening in the stock market. So some recent trades, and I posted these on the new website. If you want to take a look, they've been annotated. Uh, some recent trades that we've done are here for you to review. And I'll just walk through you on the big charts. But take your time and go on to the new site and take a look for yourself. And let's start off with AutoZone. AutoZone, we started shorting back here. We finished building that position here right in time for this heck of a decline. We took half of our position here, the remainder of it here. Because what I saw was a bottoming tail here, I sent out an alert to my subscribers. Listen, we're trading the 280 put options. If they spike it up the following day, you're going to have options traders scrambling through the door trying to get out of their options trade. So let's not be greedy. We're seeing a bottoming tail form here. Let's avoid that rush out of the options because what will happen is, is that the, the spread between the bid and the ask will widen out dramatically. Sure enough, the following day, Friday, it spiked up, and thank God we were out of the position because we didn't have to fight to get to the exit doors. We were already out. We booked our profits. This trade is closed. And uh, we traded it back here a number of times to both the short side, long side, short again, made a nice handsome profit. We're looking to get short of Ambev again in the future if we seek a rally higher. AT&I, we traded this to the long side. We bought it back here literally when nobody wanted it. Nobody wanted this stock, and it flashed up on our screens, bought it, and it's rallied to, we took profits here. What we're looking to do is this. We're looking for a signal to put us short of ATNI, and you may ask why. It looks like it's a healthy chart. Well, the reason is this, is that it's rare that you simply have a V-shaped recovery in a stock. Uh, so what's probably going to happen is that, it's going to begin to correct back down, and this could take up to a couple of months for it to happen. This started, the rally began at the beginning of December. We're into January now. So it could be uh, another couple of weeks, another month for it to begin that breakdown. But I fully anticipate that we're going to see that breakdown and a retest of the 3194 level. Now, when we open this trade, where will our logical stop loss be? Well, two separate places. The first is going to be just above recent highs because if you see a continuation rally higher we're not going to want to fight the trend we're going to get out and we'll wait for a better opportunity to get short the second place to get to put our stop loss order is going to be right below if we're correct and we time this right and we get in here and enjoy this ride down and it doesn't hold this 3194 level because it's my intent to get long at this level again so we'll close to cover our short position once we open it up again and we will get long of AT&I once again as an investment, meaning 
will hold the stock from several months to several years. And that's our plan. So if you want to be involved with the trade, please let me know. Just join up. So 14 day free trial offer still available. And you'll be part of that trade. Uh, Netflix. Nobody, everybody loved this stock. Everybody loved this stock. We saw our opportunity. We got short here. We traded the put options and we made a handsome profit. We're now out of that position. And I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with Netflix. Let me just move on from here because I honestly don't know which way it's going to go. What stocks are we looking at? Well, what I'm about to show you is stocks that we are looking at. Doesn't mean we're definitely going to trade them. It just means that we're seeing opportunity to the short side. And the first one, who doesn't love potash? Okay. Everybody loves potash. That gives us every reason in the world to start looking to get short of it because there's so much anticipation, so much expectation built into the stock that sometime when you begin to peter out at these overextended levels, the path of least resistance is to the downside. So potash is one. A Lear. I like this one as a short. Uh, I'll be going into more detail with this with members in the coming week. And we'll look to get short of a Lear. NVIDIA. Showed relative strength on Friday as it proceeded to rally higher in light of the decline of the stock market. What that tells me is that NVIDIA is going to continue higher. Do you want to get long here again? Sure you can. You need to stop, stop trailing, trailing stop loss order. That's fine. But what we're looking for is to get short of NVIDIA. The time is not now. It's coming though. It's coming in the very near future. We're going to look to get short of NVIDIA. And I went through, I put up uh, the members commentary to members already today and I explained what we're seeing in the semiconductors holders sector is possible. I'll go, it's, go into the 14 day free trial offer. Go, I'll go into it there. I only have limited time on YouTube. Also just cut me off. Um, but I go into detail with the se semiconductor holders. Looks like they're basing, getting ready for a breakout. Um, last one here. Uh, well, we already touched upon. Okay, we already did it. Uh, that's it, folks. Um, limited time on YouTube. Uh, if you want an extended version, I think it's 26 minutes. I went to for the week ahead commentary. What are we going to look forward to in the coming week? That's going out to members in a short time uh, today. Uh, so completely different video, members only. If you want to join, please, again, go to my YouTube channel. Click on the link to the website. You'll notice it says Contrarian Traders. Not contrarian trader. That's the link to the old website which provides you with the 14 day free trial offer. The new site does not provide you that. All right, I'm going to be redirecting the contrarian traders to the new site after everything's all fixed. Uh, and that's it, folks. Have a great trading week. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, bob at the contrarian trader.com. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.